Okay, Ronnie. Hi, this is Marcus Giuliano from Aroma Time Bistro, a uh, green certified restaurant in upstate New York with an insane beer list. Green wine list. 150 beer list. 50 beers that keep rotating. I would get more beers, but there's not enough space in my coolers. So when one beer runs out, we replace it with another beer. Full page of dogfish on the beer menu. Two pages. Two pages. Two pages of dogfish, one page of Unibrew, one page of Omegang with special vintages. Wow. So we are blind tasting a beer. I don't know what this is. Eric does because Eric picked this beer, went to the coolers and picked it out. Um, we have an extra glass for Tibor, the chef, Ooh. who is tasting along with us. And we'll add his notes in. He doesn't know what's in here. The nose is a little strong. The nose is strong. It's yeasty. Now, the goal is here for me to pick out the style, right? Now, I did... This is a non-alcoholic beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we got that cup. I did try and trick him, but I, I picked the beer, but I didn't read much about it, so I don't know what the alcohol is, but I'm okay. guessing the alcohol is at least 8%. All right, is this, is this a German beer? The nose is German, I would say. The nose is German. Yeah. yeah. I haven't tasted it yet. kind of smells like a Bex. <laughs> Which we don't have back, so it eliminates that. Right. Then you, could you, did you run and we did Bitburger yesterday, so it's not Bitburger. Did you run to the beverage store and grab a beer we don't have here? <laughs> no, but I was going to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it tastes a lot better than the nose. It tastes a lot better. It's creamy. It's creamy. That's right. What do you have that's creamy? So this... Genesee Cream Ale, is that on the list? That's not on the list. Not on the list. Oh, wait, I know what it is. So, yeah, this is creamy. Very yeasty on the nose. Yeah. First time I'm trying this beer at Aroma Time Bistro. I'm, I'm going to stick with the German. I, I like it. I'm going to stick with German, you know? Yeah, I mean, the it, finish, too, is very... Uh, so, I'm, I'm, I'm going German here. But you know I'm what you have for German beers, right? I know what we have for German Do you want, do you want me to guess the German beer here? I would or? Just, just... I would like you to give me as much information as you can about this beer. And by the way, folks, this blog will never make it onto YouTube. We'll Why not? make it on. Why is that... I have to say, it's one of those beers that it's like a wine where the second sip is better. Like the first sip is the first sip is clearing out what you had from the last beer. Right. And now the second sip really progressed. I'm really starting to like it. Let me get my brown bag back out. <laughs> Very stylish, Eric. Oh, man, oh man. Uh oh. I want to see how yours poured, because it could be different. Let me take a look at that glass. Okay. Look at that. Two different. There's two different. Two oh, okay. Cloudiness. The yeast is starting to come out. So you were right about the yeast. Yeah. Okay. So we got we we have a we have a wheat beer here, German. We have a half a Weissen, and um, you know, I might want to go pollen or something with this. Wow, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Pull it out. You're truly amazing, bro. Is it? Oh! <laughs> no way! That goes to show you how much your brain plays with you when you're tasting beer. No way. Achelle Blonde. The greatest beer in America. Oh, my Gosh, that totally threw me. I thought at the end when the can I tell you something? Cloudy, I thought you were all. Over can it. I tell you something? He talks a good game. He's like, this is the first time I ever had this beer in Aroma Time Bistro. <laughs> Why That's unbelievable. Me that? Why would you? Tell I wanted me that? a true tasting, bro. What? I wanted a true tasting. Oh. It just goes to show you, as well as with wine, with beer, a lot of it has to do. This beer smells totally different now that I know what it is. It's a whole different beer. A whole different beer. It's just like when you go to a fine restaurant and there's a well-spoken sommelier who knows about the wine. He sets you up telling you what to expect. Then you could have a more experienced tasting. 
Come to Aroma Time Bistro. Marcus has tasted all of the 150 beers. I might not be able to recognize him. He's, <laughs> he's a lot better without the brown bag. <laughs> a lot better. <laughs> but he could definitely send you in the right direction to picking the right beer. It definitely has that creaminess. It without a doubt has that creaminess. It. I thought that you were definitely going to get it I, the I, second sip. I honestly thought it was the yeast. Out of the bottle, that what that you no know, bottom yeast and the German, like a German Hefeweizen. Yeah, that, the wheat beer. The Hefeweizen though, the wheat would beer have more would, spicy would and more particles. more. Uh, the wheat comes this out. This is spicy particles. though. This is spicy. More. This is all more. creamy. This so what's what's that cloudy? Why why is the cloudy the like that? That's that's the it's yeast. just the yeast. That's the yeah. yeast that's on the bottom. Now. But a Hefeweizen, you really see the particles of the wheat yeah. on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And this, you know, oh my gosh, this is an awesome beer. Okay. Beer. You know, I might All just right. have to add is that a, you know, you listen to Jay Z and re- drinking out of a brown bag. I don't know what it is, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we do Pops Blue Ribbon out of the brown bag. <laughs> Should we do another beer now? I already brought another one. Oh, out. Okay. Because I brought one.